So two things I like here if you want to start from the very beginning is, one, I like the active high guard here, right? Because I see you have your hands. And obviously, I can't read your brain, but I can read what you're doing. And on film, I love the fact that you say, okay, we're up high. We're up high now. This is a beautiful decision, great decision. Great use of the high guard. It's active. Yes, we're not hand playing controller stuff, but it's a very active showing. Like one of the things that I'm... um. One of the concepts that I'm really developing some drills and stuff on now is um, actually you can't even see this board behind me, but um, like multiple personality disorder. That is a system, right? Um, manning, Manning, that's a system. And disengagement, obviously, which you've probably heard me speak on. But I just love uh, that, that thought to go to a high guard here, which enables you to go low. And when you go low with that jab, you do a pretty good job. Um, we'd love to see you, of course. Everything's not going to be perfect like in a drill. But, of course, we'd like to see you drop your butt a little bit lower and get under his jab here. So one more time. So you do a great job extending your front foot, right? But we really want you to leave your back foot here and just extend your front leg and drop your body to the center and not commit all the way in on that jab because... As you as you work yourself up to levels, a person's counter punching, you kind of gave away. But you talk about the good things here. It's really, it's a good good way to get to that position, of going from this active high guard to getting low. And of course, great job keeping your right hand up. It's really great stuff. And then of course, you get offline with the next jab here, and that's be that's really beautiful. And of course, slipping the next jab at the same time. So that's really beautiful. It's great to see. We talked about that Andre Ward, that little clip that I made, his corkscrew jab going up. So that's a great job. It's just really good decision making. Also, the the intent here to obviously get close to him, just in case you're in a bad position, right? Smother him. And uh, he obviously steps away, so that's not available. But that's enough to get him to what? Back off. And let's see where you continue. And you continue with that jab offline, getting low to your left. And I love the fact that you're not jabbing right in front of the taller guy. You're taking your offense. I love that's beautiful stuff. There's a great feint there, obviously. Now here, we'd love to see you be a little bit active with your hands, right? So you go to go back to this high guard. I'd love to see you get your the palm of your glove on this jab right here because at this level with this guy, you can easily catch his jab, no problem. So you might as well just be physical, get that good noise from catching it, and uh, get your hands on that jab. Great approach, obviously, with the galloping. This, this is obviously a great approach with the galloping there into your jumping hook. Very, very good setup. Bring your right hand right behind it next time. You're going to land that one all day. So you want to put those two together. Dude, really, first of all, the approach is brilliant, right? Because you go from, oh, everything's chill, relax, we're in your house drinking fucking wine, and I'm out of here. Boom. One motion. Good job. Very good job. But bring your right hand right behind that next time. You'll land it every time, right? And good, good responsible defense. Let me check out how you got to neutral stance there. It's very nice. So off the hook, boom. Switch that into beautiful, good. You know, I love this because, you know, I don't know if you have the video where I talk about it. Like, when you turn southpaw, you have certain responsibilities, right? And obviously, you know that. And it's not to get hit with the right hand here. So, you do a great job of slipping the right hand. It's so funny, man. Like, take my professional students, my professional students. I'm, I'm not going to name their names. I don't want to embarrass them. But, you know, it's simple shit. If you're going to go fucking southpaw... S slip the damn right hand. It don't tell you like you don't need to get hit with two, three of them to figure that shit out. So I love the fact that here, just completely responsible, you're automatically on that slipping the right hand, and then a beautiful clinch, excellent, excellent clinch. And let me see how you work this clinch. Let's go from clinch. Yeah, we want to see you be a little bit more subtle here, right? So next time I can't really show you because you're on the other side, but you want to bring your left hand and snake it in. And get control of his head right here on this side. But you do that real subtle. You don't do it in a very aggressive way. So you take your left hand, you snake it into his neck, and then you start to work that offense with the right hand you want it to land there. And you neutralize him. And it's, but that's for the future. You, you'll pick up on that later. Great, great glove controls there. I see what you did there. Very nice. So he goes into his control game. 
but you got your hands on him, and that's great because that really takes away what he's trying to do. Let's continue to watch. Ooh, very good punch selection. First of all, again, great approach to get where you're going. Excuse me. So firstly, great approach here, right? Again, great approach here. Great approach. One more time. Simple, small things, all things. Great approach. And then great punch selection here. Southpaw, can opener. He's got his torso up anyway, so great high, great high form. Way to, give, way to give him something to look at. Into this beautiful straight left hand downstairs. Just a great decision, great responsibility afterwards. In addition, right, because you take your foot to get that shot off your lead foot, right? So bring your lead foot back next time. Don't just depend on your, your body, your upper body to get you out of there. So just, or you want to work on, um, uh, I don't think you have this tutorial. It's in my, um, maybe it's in my fighter drills tutorial. It's the one I did with Warrior Collective. But um, there's a great drill to work on this Uh Excuse me, as far as bringing your foot back. Let's continue. Way to get offline there. Great decision making. And what's great about it is you come to a situation now where you're, you're neutral stance and the guy don't know whether you're conventional or southpaw. So he probably don't even know that you're southpaw right now. So he just gives up this position so easy. Great stuff. And way to take that position too. In the clinch, right? Because if you, in the clinch, right, let's say you, you go and you reach for this clinch initially, right? He's not giving it to you, but here's a problem for you, especially in amateurs. Right here. Okay. So because your hands are on the outside, that's why you're getting the warning because it looks like you're initiating the clinch. So you're going to have to do a, I like to say air gloves body. So if you control the air first, which you did. You want to get control of his gloves next. Then, if the glove, you're not safe enough with the glove controls, then you can get into his body. But once you start reaching from so far away, you go, you're always going to get the warning. So that's something you can work on um, on the bag and, and as far as drilling is concerned. Great job. Much better catching the jab there. And... You know, this is just something you really want to be consistent on. So if you can do it once, then you can do it every time. So way to be physical right there and catch that jab. And look what ends up happening. You catch the jab and look. let's look at his reaction, right? You catch the jab real physical. What's his reaction? He don't like it because he thinks something's coming back. So he does a full rhythm step for you, okay? So let's always catch the jab and be physical because it lets the other guy know he's the bigger guy. Look at your body posture. Uh, no, you're not. I'm the big guy and I'm throwing. You understand? Beautiful stuff. And way to, way to go back down to the body with that jab. That's an excellent sequence right there. This is an excellent sequence right here. Physical catch, physical jab catch, bomb. Right into the jab can opener, boom, can opener. And it's funny, look how many rhythm steps he gave you off the can opener. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro, sorry. So off the jab catch, he goes into a rhythm step. <laughs> jab into the body, rhythm step. Jab into the body, rhythm step. And then that lands a little, that sets up a little hook upstairs. It's crazy how many people don't really do drills. Great lead hand dominance right there. Yo, I really like your southpaw work, man. This is really nice because now obviously conventional southpaw doesn't matter, but I like your responsibility as a southpaw because right here you go right in the lead lead, lead hand dominance right here. Excellent. That's outstanding, bro. That's outstanding. Outstanding. You can't get pros to do small things like this, really. That's just great attention to detail. Good can opener downstairs. And good shots upstairs. Way to, way to mix up your outside game to your inside game here. Very nice. It all starts with what? Jab defense. From jab defense, you go to a straight left hand, right? Control, glove, beautiful stuff. To the overhand you try. He defends it a bit. Try to double up on it. Great glove controls after you punch. That means he's not countering, which gives you what? Boom, opportunity for a left hook. You operate like a pro right now. That's great stuff. One more time and run that back. So 
It all start. Let's actually let's run that whole sequence back. That's nice. So great approach here, right? G lead hand control, beautiful stuff, right? Lead hand control, jab jab defense, can opener, upstairs glove control, headshot glove control, headshot. Very nice. And your approach is so consistent. That's nice. Let me see right here. You guys exchange hooks. Good responsibility keeping your left hand on great stuff. Good job. Oh, you gave him an eight count, huh? Getting hit with them tough shots over the top. Again, this is just great stuff. Like, one of the things, like, one of the most interesting concepts, which is going to sound crazy, but, so, for example, when, when um, Akoli was sparring Fury, like, when we would get the better of him, I would tell him, like, listen, and this is just, this is just the truth. Is this philosophically true? When you get the better of most, especially men, like, in a sport like fighting, what are they going to do? They're going to try harder. So... Great composure here because the guy, he got an A count. He wants to come out aggressive. Look at your approach here. You're not going crazy. Nice and relaxed. He's going to come out super aggressive here. He's trying to put some offense on you. Great job of slipping and sliding to your left and your right and then opening. Wow, finding the counter. Excuse me. Very nice. So great approach to start with. Great approach. Bong, bong, bong. Get to the center, right? You try your best here. You get some space. Put something between you and your guy. Good stuff. Great responsibility with your right hand here. Great control right there. Unbelievable stuff, right? Get a little bit off balance there because he's rushing you, but that's normal, right? But great, great job getting low here. Great job staying low. Trying your best to control his his I think you're on his right arm here. Really good job there. And then you switch it over to his left hand or to his chest. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Subconscious or unconscious, that's very nice. Way to slip to your right after that. You know the right hand's coming and slip over to your left side. And then you bide your time here. Great job biding your time. You go to an active high guard. Active because why? Because you're countering. So that's how we know that was active. And that's just a good job. That's a really good job. Let's see. Let's see what happens from here. Good job. Yeah, really good job. And what does that do? Wow. This is the most interesting concept, right? Because it's like we learn punches and shit and we want to punch. But the fact that you counterpunched him, he don't know where the punch came from. What's his response? So what does that tell me philosophically? Hit people when they're not ready, period. It doesn't matter who they are. They might back the F up and leave you the F alone. Let's continue to watch. Mmm. Man, wait, yo, first of all, great decision right here. Great decision. So, comes around here, you got space. He's stepping in as the taller guy. Way to allow him to smother himself, James. Mmm, veteran, James, I see you. And coming up with a counter hook off of that smother. That's great. That's a great, that's great um, recognition right there. Mmm, then you go to neutral stance and slip the right hand. Ah, you out here. Ah, you out here. Good round, bro. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's move on to the next video. It's so funny, too, because I'm guessing these are two-minute rounds, but very measured, very measured pace for you. Good job. Great, great selection. Mm, don't even get me started. I'm not even going to bother breaking this shit down. Don't even get me started. Beautiful high forearm here. Beautiful high forearm here. Let me get back to that real quick. This is a great use of high forearm. So you come out here, you're in this situation, right? You're confident, you're a little bit looser. And what do you go to here? Beautiful. You're in your Lomachenko bag with that one. That's beautiful. Great, great high forearm there. Really good stuff. Great thought that I to the left there. Way to put something between you and him here. 
your neutral stance game is incredible. You see what the jab defense do for your life? Let's let's catch everybody's jab at all times. Beautiful stuff. And again, look what a jab defense does for your life. Let's catch the jab every time, don't, no matter who it is. Now look, when you're going for these big shots, right, you're really trying to hurt this guy and land. One of the combinations you might want to work on is that Tyson. I don't know if we talked about it. It's in my reactive mid system. So that's going to be the right hook to the body right here and the left hook upstairs. That's going to help you set up that left hook. So after that jab catch, you might want to come around here to the body. It's just something to try. Come around here to the body with the right hook, get low, and you'll be able to land that left hook upstairs 100%. Great punt selection there. Really good punt selection. That all came off that, wow, look at this. I don't know if you noticed this, check this out. So it's funny, the small things, small things that we do that create space for us. So watch here, your left hand, let's watch your left hand here, right here, boom, right? Cover up his right hand, it's a safe position for you, right? Then you do something really smart here, what is that? Boom, you put something between you and your man. That gives you a millisecond, nanosecond, whatever the fuck it was, to read, to think, to see. Now that you're able to read, think, and see, what are you able to do here? You're able to slip a jab. And you know, all you know, every gym is teaching everybody to step forward with their jab. Look at the guy. The guy's taller than you. He's stepping forward with his jab, helping you out. And now he's in a, just a completely bad position. Way to be patient and great punt selection here. Good job. Very good job. Ooh, good job. Good job. Ooh, you going to that's, did you stir the pot right there? James. 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 It's looking good, bro. It's looking good. It's looking good, bro. Good faint right there. Great faint. Ooh, you're in your bag now. I see it. Mmm. Jab defense. Now you just neutral stance galore. So, one of the things you want to work on, I don't know if you picked up, I don't remember if you picked up the, um, the heavy bag reactive mitts, the reactive mitts you could do on your own. But so now you got your high guard, right? So the next advancement for you is really difficult because it's not something normal to let a guy, you know a guy wants to punch, but let him punch, catch the right hand, pad work, catch the right hand, wop, wop. So you got your regular high guard, right? Catch the right hand, wop, wop, catch the hook, wop. or... Okay, so work on your work. If, if you, I think you do have the heavy, the re reactive heavy bag uh, tutorial. I feel like that's one of the first ones you got for me. Start working on these. Catch the right hand. Call it yourself. It's hard, but fucking do it. Because now in these situations where you're a little bit under pressure, instead of catching these shots right here, you start to do something with them with an active guard. If you have any questions about that, just uh, message me. I'll break that down for you. Good job slipping your head. But really, you also want to work on your with your slip games. Okay, let's say you slip two or three shots. One, two, you roll. Now, catch shots. Then go back to slip. If you can't slip, you can't catch, move. You can't move, you slip and catch, you know, just try to mix up your your defense. Obviously, really tough to do in um, this type of fight scenario, but just something to work on. A little small critique. Ooh, good right hand. You're in a bit of a firefight now, but way to deal with that, way to have a little bit of heart and uh, go hunting with this guy. This is this is a great job in the clinch because now it looks like you're doing all the work, which you are. So, and good can opener. Way to go back down to his body with the can opener. Great approach right here. Let's check out the third and final, I guess. So this guy knows he, he's down and he needs to win the rounds. Great offense to defense scenario right here. 
So actually, it's funny. I'm going to show you this, right? Good pull counter. Wow. Mm, I see you, James. Excellent pull counter. Man, you in your bag. Something serious here. Okay, let's continue to watch. Mm, very, very nice, sir. Way to take a walk on him. Good feint. And way to corkscrew with that jab upstairs. Mm. Yeah, let's work on your catch and counter game. Especially catch the right hand. Um, not so many hooks. Catch the right hand. This is going to be one that... It's almost like the pull counter in the sense that the guy cannot... You cannot, you, he cannot get out of the way of the shot. You just have to be brave enough to be patient and get your arm up high, catch, and come back with the right hand right away. A straight one, not a hook, a straight one. It's going to land very fast. Great footwork this round so far. Wow. Looking at this video, you do a great job of doing everything, but I really want to see you speed up everything you do in, in your drills now. So... If, you, if your technique's off, you can afford to slow down. But if you feel good about your technique, start to speed it up, go faster. That's going to help you work on your speed and your agility and your power. Remember, the faster you are, the, the stronger you are or the harder the punches land. I'm not going to – obviously, this is really tough to break down because of the angle. But we'll let this go. But overall, my assessment is great job. What else can I say? Way to work.